I'm making this video because I've noticed a recurring trope when I'm watching a random Team Fortress 2 YouTuber's video. They'll make a joke about how easy it is to air blast, and then they'll play the Vine Boom sound effect and use this image. And this annoys me for several reasons. Well, the main ones being, the hitbox isn't actually that big. This image is just incredibly misleading. What the hitbox actually is, is really tall for no reason. I don't understand why it's this tall, but it is. And the angle of the camera makes the hitbox appear way bigger than it actually is. If you take this image and just completely remove the height from the air blast hitbox, it's a completely normal, respectable sized hitbox. It's only the length of like three players. But what really annoys me is even if the hitbox was super massive, I don't think it would matter. Air blasting was never designed to be balanced around the size of the hitbox anyways. You see, when people say that air blasting projectiles is too easy, what they actually mean is air blasting projectiles specifically from medium to long range is too easy. And why do I know they're only talking about this specific range? Well, because the hitbox size doesn't really matter that much if they're inside the hitbox, does it? If someone is inside your hitbox, then you have at most, and again, at most, 0.23 seconds to react. For reference, the average human reaction speed is 0.25 seconds. In order to even air blast in this range, you have to be above the human standard. And I don't know if you know this, but the Pyro's primary weapon is a flamethrower that basically requires you to be in this range. Okay, okay, I get it. You know, Air Blast is perfectly balanced in close enough range. However, it is still overpowered in medium to long range. <laughs> Wrong! Well, yes, deflecting a projectile from medium to long range is not hard, but people always neglect to think about for whatever reason is that there's actually two steps to a successful air blast. Step one, of course, is to reflect the projectile. Step two is to actually hit somebody with it. Now, this might seem incredibly obvious, mainly because it is. But you'd be surprised how many arguments I've gotten into with soldier mains who complain and complain about how easy air blasting is in comparison to the very difficult task of aiming a rocket. Yeah, yeah, I know, but hold your laughter until the end. But then when I mention, hey, in order to actually successfully air blast, I also have to aim the rocket, they mysteriously disappear. So I guess we'll never know who won the argument. And that's not even mentioning the fact that trying to aim while reflecting is way harder than just aiming normally. One, because as a pyro, you're way more likely to have a height disadvantage and two, that doing two things at the same time, no matter how simple, always makes them individually harder. I will, however, be throwing the soldier maids one, one singular bone, at a very specific, medium to close range, it is both easy to reflect and aim a rocket. But even then, try to understand, this is specifically just for rockets. There's not a single other projectile in the game that has this issue. You'll still have to aim grenades and arrows in this range. But if you are still, for whatever reason, convinced that this hitbox is just too big, just know, it's these guys' fault. The reason this hitbox is so big is because of how big this hitbox is. The length of the air blast hitbox is 256 hammer units, while the radius of a rocket or grenade launcher explosion is 169 hammer units. So yeah, remember earlier when I said the window of opportunity to deflect a rocket was 0.23 seconds? Well, I was lying. If you go for a splash rocket like, you know, any soldier main, that number can be as small as 0.08 seconds. That is a number so ridiculously small 
that I triple checked I wasn't doing the math wrong. It is quite literally less than a third of the average human reaction speed. But, um, hitbox big, air blast easy. But that's not even the best part. Those of us who have passed middle school geometry know that the radius is actually only half of the diameter. So the actual full rocket size is actually 338 hammer units by 338 hammer units. So this insane, ridiculous, impossibly, stupidly big hitbox is actually smaller in every dimension than the rocket blast radius. It overall just really frustrates me the way people talk about air blast in Team Fortress 2. It feels like more than any other mechanic in the game, people talk about it exclusively in isolation. Yeah sure, any idiot can consistently air blast on TR walkway, but the game just isn't as neat and clean as that. People always talk about air blast as if it's like hitting a baseball, when in game it's like hitting a baseball while getting attacked by raccoons. With how much I've been defending Air Blast, you might be surprised to know that I actually am in support of certain Air Blast nerfs. The reason I'm okay with these nerfs isn't, however, because I think Air Blasting is just way too overpowered. It's because I think that Pyro, as he is currently, is just way too reliant on Air Blast. I hate for my damage output to be completely reliant on how stupid the other team's soldiers are. I'd like to have Air Blast be a little bit worse if it means that Pyro overall is better. Anyways, that's the, uh, basically the end of the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and also, like and subscribe if you hated the video. Uh, you have to do it now, I told you.